This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, an oscilloscope, often referred to as a scope, is a test instrument used to visualize and analyze the waveform of electronic signals. It is an essential tool for engineers, technicians and researchers working in fields like electronics, telecommunications, physics and more. In some of my previous videos I described how to make a digital oscilloscope using Arduino which has a maximum frequency range of up to 50 kHz. This time I will present you a more advanced oscilloscope with STM32 microcontroller which has better performance than Arduino and is also cheaper. With this instrument we can now observe the shape of signals with a frequency up to 500 kHz. You can see the original project on the RCL radio site. Autowiz STM32 is a 32-bit ARM microcontroller developed by ST Microelectronics and Arduino bootloader can be installed on it and it can be used as a standard Arduino. The Arduino ID application can be used for writing, compiling and uploading code to the microcontroller board. This time we will not dwell on the method of installing and uploading the code because we can find many detailed tutorials on the internet. The device is extremely simple to make and contains only a few components. STM32F103C8T6 microcontroller 3.2 or 2.8 inch TFT color display with a resolution of 240 by 320 points powered by the ILI9341 chip 2 diodes, 2 resistors and 5 buttons If the device is made according to the given schematic diagram and code, it works immediately after the first power on without any preview setting in the code or libraries. Let's first explain the function of the buttons. With the set button, we enter a menu where we can change more settings. Up and down buttons are used to change the value of the selected function. The hold button serves to freeze the current image uh, of the signal for analysis. And with AC-DC switch we select the type of input signal. When the hold button is activated uh, we have additional functions for analyzing the input signal. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. For testing, I will use this oscilloscope which has the ability to generate different types of signals and large frequency range up to 2 GHz. I will start with a low frequency square wave and gradually increase the frequency.
Next, I will generate different waveforms to see how they look on the oscilloscope. Now I will change duty cycle Now on this type of signal, we, I will test the hold function with all its options. As you can see in the video, the colors of the curve can be changed very easily in the code. And finally, a short conclusion. Unlike the previous oscilloscopes with Arduino, this device, due its frequency range and speed, represents a relatively serious functional instrument that can find a place in any laboratory. And at the same time, the price for its making is extremely low, no more than $15. The oscilloscope is installed in a suitable box made of PVC material with thickness of 3 and 5 mm and covered with a self-adhesive colored wallpaper.